Hey everyone, let's look at some string line and basic laser leveling today. So string lines are super important for uh, giving us something to work up to and anytime you set one up, basically you're increasing the accuracy of your project. So give yourself something to work up to. Um, the closer you get to the string line, the more accurate your finished heights and levels are gonna be. So that's what you can achieve. And I like to use like a concrete stake most often we just got a big bundle of them or you can use rebar for uh, taller applications uh, just put a cap on it so it's nice and safe and let's look at some basic knots so usually I just a little spray paint there to make sure you can see it and uh, basic knot here so this will be our starting knot uh, just double the line over on itself and you're just doing a basic hitch So just like starting to tie your shoe there, make a hitch through just so you have a loop. And then you're just gonna double that loop over on itself. So it creates kind of like a sliding, um, expandable and contractible loop at the end. Yeah, so that can cinch right onto the stake. Uh, really nice and easy and a great fast way to start. That way it's attached at the right height to start with. And this is the second loop, or sorry, the second knot. So a little bit quick there, but it's right over to the left, um, creating a loop, and then the same thing right over left, creating a second loop. So we'll see it here, right over left loop, right over left, creating a second loop, but the second loop goes underneath the first. And that will cinch it on there really nice. Let's see kind of how it works. So it sort of just uses a string line as a, a way to sort of um, create friction and uh, cinch it on there. Then you can get your fingernail in there and loosen it off by uh, pulling on that one line. Yeah, so once again, just cinching up nice and tight. Uh, just stop and replay that if you have to. I'm just gonna do it real quick here, setting up the first knot again and just showing you how quickly you can set up proper string line heights um, for a wall or patio or really anything hardscaping that we're going to build. So really nice and easy. Um, usually at this point you'd have your heights already set, so I would mark uh, with the laser level, which I'm going to show you now, um, some heights, and then you can just put your string line to that. So let's set up a laser level. Um, I always want to make sure the tripod is nice and solid and pretty close to level. Then we're going to just attach a simple laser level. Um, I know you can just rent them if you're uh, curious and you don't want to buy one yet. Um, and it will self-level. So here's a self-leveling mechanism. You can hear it working there. Once it starts to spin, we're good to go. And now the receiver, really simple device, basically just tells you which direction to go, up or down. Uh, you can actually see the laser because I'm holding it pretty close to it, but often if you're about 100 feet away, you wouldn't be able to see that. You would just see the, the lights indicating up or down and which way to go. It is extremely accurate, so take that into account. Like You're within a millimeter or two, um, so yeah, whatever works for your project however accurate you want to get, I should say. And at this point, I'm setting up just my benchmark height. So that could be like existing concrete or something you're gonna work up to, um, depending on the circumstances. I'm gonna set my laser to that height and I'm gonna shoot that level line. Um, basically, I'm just setting the bottom of whatever stick I'm using. You could use the actual stick that comes with the laser or a level or a piece of wood even. Um, you're using just the bottom of that to create your line that you can transfer onto the next stakes. So if you're using a slope, um, typically I would just mark the level point all the way across on all of my perimeter stakes for an excavation or for base prep, and then basically just measure down from that level line or up from that level line to create your slope. I'll get into a bit more detail in the next videos. Stay tuned.